welcome back to the Suki and Chickity YouTube channel. I'm Brooke. I'm Kimberly. And we are coming to you from Haymarket, Virginia, Sunday, February 20th. Wow. I know. It's almost like she hasn't missed a bunch of these. That's crazy. I know. What can I say? <laughs> we are a mother-daughter duo. This is my 16-year-old daughter. Um, this is a crafty podcast. And normally, this is where I open up and say, this is my 16-year-old daughter who isn't crafty and is just my comedic entertainment and holds it up for me. But not today. Why is that, Brooke? Um, I may have started crocheting. May again. have. <laughs> she may be dabbling. And when I say dabbling, I mean like she's got more foes than I do. <laughs> she's got almost as many whips as I do. This girl just like, I'll tell you the story in just a minute. You can find us at on Instagram at Sweet Pea and Chickadee. You can find me on Ravelry at K Armini. You can find Brooke <laughs> on Ravelry at brmini05. And you can find her little crochet account on Instagram at crochet.chickity. I mean, no, like chickity.crochet. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> One more time. What is it? <laughs> chickity.crochet. Isn't that amazing? Okay, so I know it's been a while, which is why is all this stuff going on. Literally, Brooke was like, I think I want to start crocheting. I'm like, <laughs> angels were singing. The light was shining. I was like, thank you. I've been trying to make her do we all We saw the whips. We saw the blanket whips, right? So then she had a heart. She's like, she was watching all these YouTube, these cute little, like, tiny, like, teenage girls or whatever doing crochet counts and crochet stuff. And, and then you were talking about how, because she wants to make animals, which is, like, the one thing, like, little stuffies. It's the one thing I don't like to do. I do not like to make stuffed animals. I like I like them. I like having them. I just don't like to make them. I think it's all the little pieces and the seaming. I'm not a seamer. I love it's so it's literally so the like one thing I don't want to make. And that's the one thing she does want to make. So we like complete each other. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Anyways. So then she was like, Oh, I, I hear I have to like learn just to make a sphere, like an ornament, like a sphere. And then it was like this one day that she was really, she's like, I, I don't just have to quit. I can't do this. I'm like, you're doing really well. You're doing really well. She got all the way through it. The very next day, I was at like the dentist with Daylin, my son, before we went back to college. And she was all stressed out about something for school. I'm like, bro, why don't you just crochet? She's like, you're right, mom. And then I come home and she had made octopus. <laughs> like the day before, she had a hard time making a circle. And the next day I come home, she's like, oh, look at this octopus I made. I'm like, what? <laughs> what? You just made it already? I've only even got an hour. It's how, it's like. I get it, you know, you're talented. I have that new crappy hands. Oh, it's a so genetic thing? It's a genetic thing, I'm <laughs> saying. Oh, look at that. Look at that. <laughs> okay, um, welcome to all you new viewers coming and checking us out. Thank you for, you know, checking us out. Thanks for coming. You know, thanks for coming, thanks for being here. <laughs> um, and also welcome back to the returning viewers. And I'm back after a long waited, and I know it's been a while, guys, I'm sorry. It's I'm been sorry. a while, she's super busy. But I'm back. <laughs> I'm not as busy. But yeah, go ahead and click like and subscribe if you, at the end, if you like us and if you want to hear when we're posting more videos. It usually, when it's normal time frame, it's usually every two weeks. I know there's a long lapse between the last one. I think it's been about two weeks since I did my whips roundup, which was like 25 whips, Brooke, I tell you. Yeah, and that's why I wasn't there. <laughs> I told them in the video, I was like, and Brooke took one look at the whip pile, was like, no thanks. You can I, do was that. Like, I was like, I have, I have homework, homework. Um, <laughs> you were at school. Yeah, I have high school, <laughs> gotta go. Oh my gosh, okay, so let's just get right into it. I'm holding one of the foes, like right here. So we can get right into foes. I only have one, so Brooke, do you wanna start? No, I think you should start. Oh, you want me to start? it's all about me. Okay. <laughs> so you guys, okay, you guys all saw, for, well, if you watched the last episode with my whips roundup, there was 25 whips, and I had one whip from 2020 that was like halfway to being done. <laughs> And then my possum socks. Or do you want to hold up the possum socks? Oh my gosh, you guys. I love it. Okay, I call them possum socks, but this is actually the library socks pattern by the Kitchen Sink Shop. It's a nice texture on the front, easy to memorize. I turned them into shorties, so I only did it down the front. Um, when they're taller, you can do it all the way around the leg. And I did my normal 64 stitch, stitch count, two by two rib, rounded wedge toe, and a fish lips kiss heel. And I call it my possum socks because it has possum in it, which I don't even think I grabbed my project bag, but it is actually, I'm gonna Aww, grab it. You're all rolling. I know, I'm just grabbing it right now. We're not stopping. We're not stopping. Nobody's stopping. So guys, you know, 
Do you like my earrings, guys? I got this one from, they're really cool. I really like these ones. I got them while I was getting decorations for part for my party. Not decorations, truly for party. All right, I'm on the back. <laughs> okay, so this is the yard. My husband, you guys remember this from, uh, if you watched the last episode. You I assume everybody episode. did. If you watched last episode, I went through this. And this is the possum yarn from Australia. My husband brought back for me in 2020 before pandemic. He wanted to go there for work. This is why Kiwi prints. Um, and it is shade number. Brooke, you want to say what shade number it is? Because it doesn't have a name. 471. And it's basically a purple. He grabbed it. These are 50 gram balls. I got two. I had this much left over. I was going to make try and make a bowl out of one. But like, ironically, it's like I had 24 grams left. So like just over half, under half. So we'll see. I think I'm going to make like little mittens or something out of them. I don't know. But it's, Brooke, you want to see what's in it? Why I call it my possum socks? Let me see. What I, oh, here it is. Oh, 55% merino. New Zealand merino. 20% nylon, 50% alpaca, and 10% possum. Isn't that awesome? <laughs> That's like, and they're so soft. You see that, like the halo? That's the alpaca. And I'm just, they're just so cool possum socks. They're definitely you. Yeah, and I wanted, I wasn't sure, like, how this is going to knit up. If it was going to stripe or pattern or whatever, or be like this, which I really love. Um, so I wanted a simple pattern to give it some texture. And the library socks were perfect. And it's a free pattern. So go check it out. The Kitchen Sink Shop. I'm all about free patterns. I mean, isn't this just... And I've been like, wait, they've been hanging here waiting for me to do this podcast so I can wear them. I'm so excited. <laughs> and I, well, because I pulled them out from all my whips. I was getting ready for my whips episode. And I had one whole sock already done. And they're shorty socks. And we all know shorty socks do not take as long. I'm like, why haven't I finished these? And so I cast on in like it was super quick and easy too. So yeah. Yay. All right, Brooke. That was my one faux. And you're going to see from all my whips why I only have one faux because I've got a couple cast ons. And... All right, Brooke. Should we do your first one? You can talk about this one. <gasps> when she was making her little octopies. Oh my gosh, look. That's the first one. <gasps> it's so cute. Oh my goodness. I did not do my nails today, folks. Isn't that just the cutest? Um, it's by All From Jade Pattern. Um, this is actually uh, the baby octopus. This one's this one's actually a free pattern that I got on Ravelry, but it's also she has a YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. Um, and I really love her patterns. They're super simple, super easy. Um, she explains it really well, and yeah, I really like this. This is so cute. Sits on my nightstand. All right, then Brooke got done. She made a whole bunch of tiny things, and then she, like, realized she wanted bigger <laughs> things, apparently. So, so what do you want to show next, Brooke? Okay, so this one's also a pattern from All From Jade, or All By Jade. All From Jade? Mm, we'll put it right here. Yeah, All From Jade or All By Jade. Um, So this is the, all right, this one looks a little creepy, but because of the eyes. I didn't have bigger eyes yet, but this is the Mama Octopus. Look how big that is. And this one's also super duper easy, believe it or not. It was super easy. And from someone who just learned to crochet, so. Yeah, this is like my first big project I did. And the bottom's not that great. We don't talk about the bottom. We talk about the front. Bert didn't want to show her photos because she's like, I'm just learning. They're not perfect. I'm like, please, I show all the things I mess up all the time. Nothing's perfect. I love them. We have to start somewhere, Brooke. So, yeah, there's that one. Okay. That one's What's really next? Good. Um, we have my little dinosaur. <gasps> I love her dinosaur. And um, can, we, can we hold it? Yeah. I can be the holder. <laughs> oh my gosh, look. Let me look at who it's by. I like completely forgot to. Oh, look. here we go. Look All at right. these little spikes. This one's by um, Bunnies and Yarn. And uh, it's actually originally, it's a really small. <laughs> she showed me the picture. It's originally super small. Oh, we have a ring light. We have a new ring light, guys. And um, I decided to use bigger yarn. So she sent me that picture, then she comes in with this. I'm like, whoa, <laughs> that's a lot bigger. So I did that. Um, it's a little top heavy, but that's... She was just learning stuffing. And so she oh, she kind of wore stuff the head, not at the body, but it's okay. It's just on your bed anyways, right? Yeah, no, it is so I mean, bed. look at these little... Like, look. There's just so much cute detail, Brooke. And like the big eyes. I also made one for my friend for her birthday. It's properly stuffed. That's properly it's stuffed. All by itself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it can actually... Can actually I love that dinosaur. It's so right. cute. And then um, this one's the same pattern. Okay, this one's missing an eye. <laughs> we don't talk about it. Um, but this one's actually the same pattern as the tiny one. this little guy, but I just use bigger yarn. Um, all the bigger yarn I use is Burn It Blanket, which I love that yarn. It's mm -hmm. just, like, it's not, I was going to say it's cheap. It's not cheap, <laughs> but it's super nice. It's acrylic, but 
but this is like basically the same pattern but it's just i use bigger yarn you can and see it's the small one right yeah it's, it's the baby one so it's also like a free mm -hmm. part and you can see the everybody one. in the family has got a little octopus yeah, everyone in the family has one <laughs> except for daniel but that's because he's at college um should we show my elephant yes we can <gasps> show my elephant and she made me an elephant so cute oh my gosh you guys look oh my god look at the tail <laughs> and the ears I don't remember. She doesn't like the ears for some reason. And I, I think they're like adorable. Them. She said they don't look like ears. I'm like, I must have definitely what I thought they were. Ears. I sent it to my friend and he said that he just okay. thought I put um Is he a crocheter? No. Well then he doesn't know. <laughs> I told him they were ears. I was like, yeah, I kinda messed up the ears. He's like, Oh, I thought those were spots on the elephant, but it's still cute. And was... Why would the elephant not have ears? What else would they be? I don't know. I love them. I love it. Was... Brooke thinks it looks like an anteater. I think Probably because the nose. And, okay, so here's maybe? the thing. All right, so um, I think it's in the original pattern, it's actually smaller, <laughs> but I use bigger yarn, okay. and the this thing actually does go up more. But um, I saw other people using thicker yarn like this, mm -hmm. and th this is how the nose is with the thicker yarn. So her mom loves it. It's so cute. <laughs> I made it for her Valentine's Day. I know, isn't that nice? It is so sweet. I love this one. My mom has a lot of little. I, I see. I love them. I just don't like to make them. So I make them for her, and yes. she has so many. <laughs> yeah, okay. She has an action shot turtle. It's awesome. Oh yes, a turtle. It. Brooke doesn't really. She didn't like the way that she sewed on the 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 legs or the whatever. They're like a it little uneven. First, it was my first time sewing pieces yes. together. They're a little uneven, but honestly, it's still cute. You can't even tell. And so I'm like, what? It's just a, it's just an action shot. He's swimming. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> she's like swimming, and I'm like, why does it do it? <laughs> it's an action shot. What? He's like, it's like taxidermy when they're like, what, like on Friends, like dog catching a frisbee or something? And Joey, when I, if I go first, I want to be looking for my key. <laughs> yeah. uh, we're a Friends family, if you guys haven't shown. Okay. Is that it, Brooke? Yeah, it's all my foes. Well, That's all the a ones lot. I'm going to show. All the ones she wants to show. She, I have a really cute couple bunnies, too, that she wants. I made like. a lot of, um, a lot of those octopus I was showing you guys, the one with the bigger yarn. I made a lot of those for my friends. Oh, yeah. And I'll put a picture here. I, we posted on Instagram mm -hmm. the picture, those are the ones you gave your friends. But all right, let's go into whips, works in progress, Brooke. And mm -hmm. I was like, Brooke, I saved room on our show notes for you to put in your whip. She's like, what? I thought you, I don't want to Because I'm myself. not like, I'm not the one that usually talks really. I but jokes. you can now because you're crocheting. Yes. Yes. Okay. So you want me to start because I do have more whips. Yeah. You. Okay. I'm going to start with. The best, like literally the best, the best, the it's... best, the baddest, the <laughs> most guaranteed one. Okay, is it a <laughs> scrappy angel blanket tote? As uh, usual, as usual. Actually, Brooke needs a blanket tote. I need to reach out to Angel. <laughs> out. Angel, when you watch this, Brooke needs a blanket tote for her sweater she's making. Okay. I was actually talking to while well, she's getting it ready. Well, I was actually talking to my mom the day Scrappy Angel makes a BTS bag. It will be the day that uh, my life is complete. I will be satisfied with the world and how it has come to a full circle. Brooke's a big BTS fan, if you haven't. You will see that later. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. Okay, so I left it like this so I could show it a little bit. So I cast on, if you guys watched my last episode, I'm going to stop saying that because what if people didn't? And, that's just like, <laughs> and they're like, stop if saying you, that. If you didn't watch my last episode, then it would be so far behind. I just feel like I'm repeating myself. So I want to like be like, hey, I know I already said this. But I guess no one cares. Anyway. <laughs> okay, so I was going to cast on. Like, last time I had ordered the yarn for the Stria cardigan by Andrea Mowry. It's just called Stria. And um, I ordered Hugh Loco. And I had ordered, and I, my, my yarn came, like, literally, I'm, uh, like, like knitting the Stria along with, like, a knitting, I don't know, like, a knit along with just me and my friend Amanda. Hi, Amanda. Um, um, I don't knit. Okay, we can do crochet alongs. Oh yeah. <laughs> um and anyway so i got my yarn we like we swatched together and then we cast on last weekend like i well she cast on we were gonna cast on last friday saturday but i was winding yarn so i tried to cast on mine a week ago today because today's sunday it was last sunday um i got the main color is brooke do you want to hold back to my old job it I is <laughs> It is colorway Earl Grey and Phyllis Sock on Hugh Loco. So it's Phyllis Sock. I actually really wanted the 80-20 base for this. Um, because this is Phyllis Sock, which is 75-25. It's a little thinner. 
And I really wanted the 80-20, but my stripes are the Love is a Battlefield Valentine mini skein oh, set. Is that a song? Yes, and they're all songs. You know the names of those are all songs. No, I still remember that. I remember like that song. And I was like, this is a good song. Love is a Battlefield. I don't even know why I'm singing. You're a singer. Okay, uh, so here's what it came in. Brooke, you want to hold it up? So Love is a Battlefield mini skein set. Those are all the colors that came with it. Um, and the only one, the only, there was only three left when I ordered and they were only in fill a sock. And so I wanted the whole cardigan to match base wise, even though sometimes I don't care about that, but I figured this time I should, since I'm buying them all from the I same like place these. anyways. Oh, X's and O's. I know, I got them all. So I have them all in mini little, little baggies. So like, <laughs> because I'm labeled guys, I'm, I'm using all 10 in order of a, it's kind of almost like a little fade a little bit. And I, so I had to number them, I, but they all look like, these all kind of look, like the pinks and reds look like, look these two, look really similar. Yeah. Like, there's no way I would be able to tell them This apart. one just looks like, a, like well, This is eight and 10, or even like, you know, so I have to keep them all numbered, so I keep them all in order. Anyways, that's what I did. You can see it knit up, how they're closely. Yes, so here's my, I'm like literally so close to splitting for sleeves, which is why they're on like, I put them on a barber, Um, what do they call it, the barber? Yeah, mm -hmm. barber. The barber cord. Barber cord. Barber cord. Totally. So here it is. Oh my gosh, look how pretty it looks on camera, bro. That is really pretty. You see it? All right, where's Sally? Sally. Okay, Sally, Sally, Sally can hold. hold. Hey, hold. Sally. Okay. Hold. All right. Okay, so I put it like it's half on like this needle, and the rest is on like a barber cord because I was oh. trying to figure out, and I'm gonna tell you what my whole ordeal is with trying to figure out where I'm splitting for sleeves. But look, so let's turn around so you can see the full stripe on the. So the Stria is a half fisherman's rib and it's amazing. Um, oh, it looks dark there because it's double lined here. I was like, why does it look darker? Okay, I get it. Um, so here is like the first one. I finished the whole stripe sequence. This is one through 10. And my next stripe will start over with this blue. It's gonna be so cool. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. <laughs> Um, and it's so squishy and amazing. It is really soft. I, this has been a week and this is fingering weight yarn. I am actually so proud of myself. I'm proud of her. I'm ready I'm to split for sleeves after one full week. It's kind of like my goal. Now, once it came to be Friday and I was really close to splitting, I'm like, if I could split for sleeves in one week, that would be amazing for me. And I really haven't worked on much else this whole last week. I've only mm -hmm. wanted to do, it's like addictive. The stripes make it super addictive and the half fisherman's rib makes it interesting enough to like, keep my attention, but also like I can watch TV and it's easily to memorize, easy to memorize pattern. Um, so, and you know, it's only fisherman's rib, like you're only doing a special stitch like on one side and the other way you're just knitting. It's so awesome. So it's just, it's addictive. You want to get to the next stripe, especially when you're different colors. So it's really cool to see all the different colors knit up. Um, and it's very, very squishy. The thing is, and the reason why I've kind of like, where should I split for sleeves is because I gauge swatched and I got gauge on a size four, but I thought the fabric was a little thinner because it's 75, 25. So I knew I was going to have an issue. So I went with my size three needles, US threes, um, knowing that it would be a little, like my stitch count was off. So it was going to be a little smaller. So that's why I knit the size bigger. So they say between a negative two ease and a positive four inches ease. And actually there was three different sizes that hit me in all those things. Like I can do negative two, plus two or plus four, like those are three. Maybe and so I was easier. really, and since it's a cardigan, I just didn't want it to be too tight on my arms. Like mm -hmm. I didn't want this, the fisherman rib wool stretch. I just didn't want it to look super stretched. So and I think I, I didn't want this to be like a sloppy, cozy house cardigan. I wanted it to be a nice cardigan to like go out in or whatever, but I still want this sleeves to be nice for if I want to wear like a t-shirt underneath. Mm -hmm. I didn't want it to be too tight. Um, so I went with, I was debating between the positive two E's and the positive four. I did not want positive four inches. I'm sorry, when did we get into negatives? Yeah, it means negative E's, maybe it'll, it'll stretch. If you want to be a little more form fitting, negative, like your socks are negative E's because they stretch. That's what it means. This is why, this is why I stay with crocheting animals. There's no <laughs> negatives, it's just all positives. <laughs> so I was trying to be between positive to positive four. I did not want actual positive four, but since I was knitting the US three needle size, my stitch gauge is off. I'm like, well, let, let me just make the size, which is size six for me. Let me just make the positive four inches ease one, knowing it won't be actual positive four. Well, as we all know, swatches lie. So, or if you don't know, I'm here to tell you swatches lie because once I start knitting this, I'm like, this is not coming out as my size three swatch. It's almost coming out like my size 
four swatch, but a very nice, like nicer, not as sloppy looking and thin as the size, the size four was. So it's in between. So now I'm like, oh, now I'm on a dilemma because mm -hmm. I do not want four positive. I don't want it to be big on, I mean, I want it to be loose, but not. You just want it to be like, you know, just like the perfect fit. Yeah. I want it to be the perfect fit. <laughs> I had that too much to ask. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes it is. So anyways, I put it on because I wanted to see if I was ready to split for sleeves. Cause I'm at the size five splitting for sleeves right now. I can do, I need like one more row or I do like an extra six rows and two more increases to get to the size six. So what I'm thinking is, or I'm thinking I'm going to do it in between. I'm going to increase one more time. Cause I still have one more or two more rows to go before I would split for the size fives. But my next round for the size six is a increase round. Mm -hmm. And pretty much this whole time has the five and six have been even. So I've increased the same on fives and the size five and the size six. It's been even. So the only difference really is two more increases for the size six. Um, so what I think I'm going to do is this next row is when I would increase one more time for a size six, but not for a size five. So I'm, I think what my plan is to increase like I'm going to do the size six and the following like two more rounds later or rows is when I, I'm just going to split like I'm doing the size five. Mm -hmm. So I'm giving myself a little bit more, like, you know, a few more stitches, which actually you increase a lot. So quite a bit more stitches. I think it's like 15, 16 extra stitches in one increase round. And I think I'm going to do that, but then separate for sleeves as a size five. So it's almost in between. I think that's how I'm going to counter my gauge. But what I'm going to do first, I'm inserting a lifeline for sure. So before I split for sleeves, I'm going to put in a lifeline book. Do you know what a lifeline is? I remember that you put like, um, this is a, it's like you, you take a scrap mm -hmm. and then you put it out of place. So um, in case you might, in case yes. if you don't like it, you can just. Exactly. Especially with Fisherman's Rib. Oh my gosh. You can't just pick this up, you guys. So I'm going to insert a lifeline before I split for sleeves. I'll split for sleeves, do like a row or two and try it on. If it's too snug up in here, then I'll just take it out and um, just do the full size six. That's how I'm gonna do it. No, lifeline is something such like a dramatic turn, like a dramatic Well, turn when you're doing this. Fisherman's Rib, I mean, it's seriously lifeline. Cause like messing up on this, it's harder to pick up. Luckily I've done Fisherman's Rib before, so I know a little bit, a couple tricks that I haven't had to use them yet. I better knock on wood. That's not even wood. <gasps> wood, you're in a chair, it's wood, okay. But I just, oh my gosh, you guys love, look. <laughs> I'm just so excited, it's so pretty. But anyways, yeah, I'm so excited about it. And because basically I saw this Valentine's mini set come out mm -hmm. and I was like, oh my gosh, I have to have that. But we all know, or if you've watched my last episode, I'm sorry, I keep saying that. My new goal is I, I have way too much yarn, way too much stash. I need to knit from stash, try knit from stash. That's my first look. But when I buy, I'm buying with a purpose. Like I'm buying for a pattern that I definitely want to knit. Like that's just it. I'm not buying pretty beautiful yarn anymore because I have tons of pretty beautiful yarn that you to use. So when I saw this mini skein set, I'm like, oh, it's pretty beautiful, but it's not going to be like an advent type pattern. I got, I do tons of those every year for Christmas. I need, what am I going to use this? I was looking for like stripey cardigans. I saw a Shreya came out. I was like, oh my gosh, I'm doing this Shreya. Mm -hmm. And I'm really into like these yak kind of colorways, which this isn't yak, but the yak kind of neutrally grayish brown kind of taupey color. And so I saw that Hiloko had this Earl gray colorway and it is perfect. I just love it so much. I know I'm holding it forever, but I love, oh, and also all of these stitch markers are Pearl Smith stitch markers. That's what I got for my Christmas advent from, um, what I got the 12 day from Pearl Smith. They're all like different color pearls. So pretty. Makes me feel fancy <laughs> when I'm knitting it. But yeah, I just love it so much. And I can't, so now I'm hoping tonight I'm gonna, I'm gonna at least do the first split for sleeves. I'm gonna put the lifeline in tonight split for sleeves and then hoping that will work out. If not, I'll pull back, mm -hmm. but at least I'll have split for sleeves on a week on fingering weight yarn. I'm so proud of myself because we all know my sense of highway is still there from 2020 and that's fingering weight. So I'm pretty excited about it. And I really want this, but at the same time, I have so many other things I want. Every time I'm knitting it, I'm like, I have other things I need to finish, but then I'm like, I can't stop. <laughs> it's so squishy. So yeah. Anyways, Brooke, now that we talked for like an hour on my street cardigan, because I love it so much, <laughs> what is your next, what is your first? Um, the what? this or that. Yeah. Oh yes, the this or that cardigan by. I don't want to butcher oh, it. Oh, Ariana Burkbile, 
putting it right here. Yeah. Ariana Burkbile or Burkabile? Burkbile? I don't know. <laughs> just, I try all the just, things. Just <laughs> I try all the ways. Okay, so I'm making the this or that cardigan. And this is how it looks right now. Because, okay, so the thing about the this or that cardigan is that instead of making a whole bunch of individual granny squares or just like the basic squares, um, you actually make, um, so with my, like the side I'm doing, you make 19 rows of it with one color and then you switch to the next color and you make a row. So you're making strips. Yeah, you're making strips of it. And um, I'm making this out of different shades of purple. So- Cause what is your theme, Brooke? So like I said earlier, I'm a huge BTS fan. And if you guys don't know what BTS is, you it's look a- You look dead in the camera when you say that, Brooke. Be proud. <laughs> She's a BTS fan. <laughs> I'm a huge BTS fan, <laughs> and if you don't know what BTS is, BTS is a K-pop group, mm -hmm. and if you don't know what K-pop is, it's Korean music, so, you know. Korean pop music. Korean pop music, Obviously. you know, a little more, like, funky. It's on the radio, you guys know, <laughs> everyone knows BTS, it's on the radio. Yeah, it's on the radio. Okay. So, I have a whole bunch of um, the different colors that I'm using. Yeah, what yarn are you using? Uh, I'm using jo Joanne's, oh, she doesn't ignore it. Olive's awesome yarn, my cat. Um, I'm using Big Twist, which is 100% um, acrylic, and it's also Joanne's um, yarn. And mm -hmm. so we have different shades of purple. It's all worsted weight, right? Yeah, it's all worsted weight. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm using different shades of purple due to the fact that... Where's your other purple? It's in the... Oh, it's in here? It's in here. That's the other oh, purple. that's the other one. Um, due to the fact that um, BTS's color is purple. And so... The white, though, you might see is only going to be for two rows with a white square because I'm going to, um, I'm going to, uh, embroider, not really embroider, but, like, um, sew in with, um, purple yarn, I purple you, which is BTS way of saying I love you. Mm -hmm. And then also on the back of it, I'm going to put the BTS logo and this is all just... So this is the back. This is one of the back strips. Yes, this is the back strip. So you make some strips and then you seam it all together and you make strips and you seam it on the side for the shoulder. It's very, very cool how it actually works up. I saw the little mm -hmm. diagram thing. But basically you make a whole bunch of strips and then you're gonna fold, seam, all that stuff. It's gonna be really cool. But she, cause she tried the granny square one and she's like, eh. I don't yeah. know, I kind of want something easy that I can just do while I'm like watching TV. Mm -hmm. Something that I didn't really have to think about. Although the granny square did take the basics, the basics, like, yeah. Remember, like, I had to come to you, like, six different times. Because Brooke likes to just crochet and not count. <laughs> so I'm like, literally, you just have to make sure you just go back and count. Because I would started her off to make sure that she was, you know. Mm -hmm. And then, um. And then you saw that it, it slowly and became I was a like, trapezoid. I'm like, you're not counting. You have to have just 24, 24, Brooke. <laughs> count 24. So that's how it's yes. looking right now. Very nice. Good job, Brooke. And I need to. And show her the bag. Oh, right. So, oh, so on this bag. Uh, an like, acquisition. It's an acquisition, yes. I forgot who it's from. It has, she has a tag on there. Oh. Turn well, up. either way, I love her. It's Cut. from Cottontail Farm. Um, I love all of her bags. They're mm -hmm. all super cute. Um, also on this bag, there's a BTS pin. You know, I'm just gonna point that out. <laughs> you wanna show it up close? Yeah, you know, the BTS pin, you see? You see? <laughs> It's a it's it's a boy band. But, so it's like yeah. cute little like foxes and like with foxes, the animals. Squirrels, yeah, birds, it's really cute. bunnies. Yes. You show them her little uh Oh yeah, here's the little logo. I have quite a few from Contail Farm. And she's local. She's from Virginia. But yeah, and I I'm also really into the cinch bags for mm -hmm. some reason. She likes the cinch the drawstring ones with the with little, little handles. handles. Yeah. So yeah. Mine didn't take as long as mom's because you said so much to talk about with your card again. I feel, I'm just really excited about it. No, 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 it's because you have so much to talk about. I didn't have that much to talk about about mine. It's just basically the same. Well, you, once you start getting all the strips in, you can. Yeah, I'll be like, guys, here, I'll have like a tower just of strips. Seriously. Okay. My next one is in a Scrappy Angel peekaboo pouch, which it's going to be renamed coming soon. March 1st. You'll tell me later, right? I'll tell you later. Yeah, you guys will all see it. March 1st. <laughs> March 1st. Um, so this is the Trail Point hat by, it's Spout Knits on Instagram, but her name is Ruth Bolkins. Um, this is that kit I got from Plied at um, Indian Tangled when we went there. So there's, Plied, there's one more bobbin left. So there's like six bobbins in there, three different colors, two of each. Um, I'm almost done with the blue bobbin, I guess. Is this a hat? Yes, trail point hat. Yeah, that was in the name. Oh. 
I zoned out for a second. Um, it's a double brim, so I had already folded it over. And if you guys saw last time, um, I wanted it to be the thick stripes, like it showed in the picture. And the top part, it comes to like a flat point, basically. Mm -hmm. um, and what happened was, this has to be five inches before you can fold over. But this, both bobbins of this color only got me like three and a half inches. I'm like, well, I don't want it to be a tiny strip and then a big block and then, you know. So what I did was I pulled it all out and then I cast on in the top color because I don't need as much of this color for the top because I've already started decreases. So I won't need as much yarn to make that wide of a stripe. So I cast out the top color, used most of a bobbin, then started the next color and that you don't even see it. So if you guys are thinking about doing that and want the same aesthetic, that's what I did. I'm now on decreases, almost done. Like I only have this much left of the blue. And then I go on to, I've got a little bit left over from when I cast on the brim. And it's gonna go out of that color. It's like a, uh, this one even, I can't hold it. Brooke, good job. Um, it's like a grayish blue, right? Look with white, yeah. I would say. Oh, that's not getting the light at all. So I'm doing decreases and I'm literally could have had this done in like probably a day, but I just finished obsessed with Stria. And I actually went to work on it the other night just to get some rose in. And then I already forgot where I was like in the, I was like, now I have to go like figure out where the decrease was I was <laughs> because now I'm like, I haven't, you know, you haven't done something for a minute. You're like, oh man, where am I again? Yeah. Have to think about it. And I'm like, why am I doing this? Let's just work on the Stria. So, but yeah. And so then I'm like, it's a little bit scratchier, but actually not that bad. It's a, it softens up as you knit it, which is why I got the plied because it has that really awesome look of scratchy and it is, it feels a little tough, but then it like totally softens in the finish and I haven't even blocked it yet. It's awesome. Um, but then I was thinking I can use this for outdoors cause we have like a farm and I go out there all the time. Also Damon, my husband might've claimed it. He's like, Ooh, I might like that hat. I'm like, well, you know, so if he like, I might give it to him, but yeah. I really like this. So that's that one. Brooke, what's your next one? Um, so it's so fun for me to have a break in between. <laughs> Mine, I need to look at the, uh, what, wait, which bag? Oh. It's in this bag. Mom, I need, mom, which, mm. this, is, this is one of your bags. Oh. I stole. <laughs> Cause she was trying to take one of my, um, my blanket totes, blanket totes but they're all full. They are awful, and I was just so I was like, like, "Oh, you can use this bigger bag. So, this is a Reds Lady bag I got for Christmas time. It's nice know. and big." So that's what I got. So you I don't know how to open it? No, I'm looking for the pouch. <laughs> I'm looking for the person who made it. Um, I should have done this beforehand. I really should have. My bad, guys. I'm sorry. I'm new at this. That's my excuse. How much show the colors? Do we show the colors? Um. Okay. So oh. it's a it's a process. Um. So what she did? It's a strawberry pouch. So it's a basic why can i not find the pattern i always oh it's right here okay cute strawberry pouch bag by vv crochet okay you want to show the what it is okay so um she made it strawberry but you can make it with like any other fruit or like any other thing so i was trying to go for lemons but it really kind of looks like a pumpkin or like i think it looks like a lemon so it's my first time seeing it yeah too. this is our first time seeing it. <laughs> so um, you're it's gonna go like this, and then I'm now starting to go up more, so it's gonna go up, and then she and then you, it makes it so you can cinch it. So you make it, like, and it's like and it's even like a purse, so it, it, you have like a little string. So like a strap. Yeah, so that's what it's gonna. Oh, look. It looks like a lemon, you guys, right? You think it's more flat like a pumpkin? Is that why? Yeah, I think it's. Well, I also think like this is more like, on top than it when like the lemon should, like the thing should be right here. Oh well. Okay. But that's what it's supposed to look like. Oh, so you gotta make a whole bunch of lemons. Yeah. Oh, okay. But it's really easy because yeah. you literally just take, I learned, she Do you wanna show them what it looks like? I did show them what it looks no, like. No, I mean, show them what it's supposed to look like. Oh, yeah, probably. <laughs> I mean, I only got Oh no, I closed it. No, I had to find it again. So we got these three colors. <laughs> Did you put with the yarn bands in here? No. I feel like you're not used to doing this. I'm not. <laughs> so what's this yarn by? Do you remember? I got it at, um, where did you get this? Oh, is this um a uh, Universal Yarns, um, at our at our yarn store? Did you say it's a yarn store? The this, needles. Yes, yes, yes. This is Universal Yarns. Wait, not this one. This is. I can feel it. Um. And this is not. This is something different because I can tell this is super I think soft. This one's from um. 
Anyways, show them the picture. Yeah, I need to find it. This is not good, guys. My excuse is that I'm not... Used to showing people things? Yeah, I, I mean, I show people things, but I don't... Okay, so it's supposed to look like this. That's gonna be cute. And, it, and like, um... So this is the bottom. Yes, this is the bottom. I see. Cute. Spec. And, um, I made... So I readjusted... So, so then you can, you can, like, fix the the lemon on the next one. Yeah. Yeah. But, like, I'm following her thing. Because her thing's strawberry, so it's supposed mm -hmm. to look different. But, um, I didn't really want to do strawberries because I don't like strawberries. Um. And yet you love I love strawberry milkshakes, but milk I hate shakes. strawberries as a fruit. Um. I just hate strawberries and all things. Yeah, mom's weird. All the strawberries. And the strawberry stuff. But... That one is actually really fun, and what That's I cute. did, so it, so she used a thicker yarn. Um, I forgot what yarn she used, but she, I didn't have that yarn. Um, so I had a thinner one, and I also had a um, smaller hook, because mm -hmm. I didn't have, because you didn't even have a bigger hook either that she needed. Mm. So I used that, and I used the hook that I would use for this yarn anyway. So she had a bigger size that she did. So I did the bigger size, and then also, um with the um with the lemons instead of doing seven um seven uh increases into the thing you do nine mm. and that's how you get the same size as it i see but i did the nine on myself i thought of the nine myself oh, look at oh, that. <laughs> i'm very proud of myself all right next up is my litmus cow all from jade all from jade <laughs> it's not all by jade oh that's what you said yeah Okay, so Litmus Cowl by Stranded Dye Works. Um, it is my last advent cast on. And I think I can participate in the Eventually Mowl. Huh? Mowl. Eventually Mowl, I think, is what Breaking um, breaking Yarn is putting on with somebody else. I should look into that. Um, it's where you, like, cast on your advent knitting, like, after the holidays. Oh, got it. Got it. Got it. Right? I think it's what it's called. Um, so I am using all zebra yarns because I did a an exchange, a little exchange, like an advent exchange with Anna from Zebra Yarns, and she was wonderful enough to basically, but she gave me her stash dye yarn. Hello. <laughs> so basically, leftovers from all her dyeing. <laughs> so it's like the best advent ever, basically. Um, so I wanted to make the litmus cowl and I'm using my leftovers to make bunting for like our decoration back here. Mm -hmm. Um, and so I couldn't figure out what I wanted cause the litmus cowl, you have a main color too that you stripe in and I couldn't, I didn't like any of the color choices that I had like grays or whites. I'm like, what do I want? Because literally Anna gave me like all the colors and they're amazing. The um, so I'm like, you know what would really look great would be like a yak base color, just, just like a natural yak. So I was looking on Etsy, it took me forever, and I finally found this one. This one. So this is by Tuja Designs. And this is her yak knack sock in the fingering weight. 70% superwash merino, 20% yak, 10% nylon. And I think she, as of a few days, you're too close because you're getting the line from the um basically. She, her like her Etsy site was taking like a little break, but she's coming back. So just so you know, if you look at it, she's taking a break. But this was very affordable because it wasn't dyed; it was just natural color, so mm -hmm. she had a very reasonable price. It's really pretty. And yeah, it's really great. I ended up getting like three skeins. I think I'm only gonna need maybe just over one. So I only really needed two, but then it was hard to get, so I got three. Yeah, it was very affordable. I'll always use this. Like, since, like it would probably look good with like a lot of striped things. So I yeah. think. Yeah, you'll be able to use it I definitely. Have, yeah, I'm obsessed with this colorway. Okay, so I'm already all through the pinks, and I'm almost all through the purples. I'm going in like a fade order. Look at this. That's really pretty. So this was day one. I pretty much have stayed on track with the day numbers that I opened, and I think I only started changing days around a couple, only a couple, and I think it was like in the blues to the grays, I think is where I started. But look, it's so great because I've got solids, I've got stri self-striping, I've got tonals, I've got variegated, I mean, and like a fade Ooh, kind of thing happening here. I know. Is nice word. It is, right? Very so I've got like tons of different like types of yarn dyeing going on here and all into one, but like I love how... The yak yeah, color is like the main. And what I did is I basically follow a pattern exactly. It's a free pattern, by the way, by Shana Dye Works. Free pattern. So you can go check it out. They said it's basically for five gram minis. And I, sh like all of mine are over five grams. So I didn't have to worry about like weight or anything like that. Um, So I did the full, like what Shana Dye Works had said, what Jude had said. It's 11 rows of the mini skein and then 10 rows of the 
main color, which is my yak. And I like how it is like a little bit thicker here than here, only by one row. And I Why love it. Why did you chain here? What's, what's oh, because it's provisional cast on. So you do a provisional cast on here. It's a crochet cast on kind of. What's a provisional? Provisional cast, cast on means it's live. So once I take this yarn off, these are live stitches. And I, because I'm going to, at the very end, it's going to be a cowl. I'm going to seam these two ends together. Oh. So it's going to be the right side all the way around. Oh, see, when you said cowl, I, I didn't think cowl. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's an infinity, it's like, it's an infinity scarf, essentially. Yes. So you can makes, you can keep it short or whatever. This makes sense. Yeah. I get it now. So what I'm going to do is I'm doing all of these repeats. I'm going to do all of them. I'm just starting, I'm finishing up. They have got... After this, I've got this purple and then this like self-striping white, pink, purple, blue. And then it goes into blues is my next. It's going to be really pretty. Yeah. So I really like this. I like, her, I like how she dyes her yarn. Like, she know. has really good color selection. She really does. I like this pink. It's really good. She's got really, I like this pink right here. This one and this one, purple. Um. So yeah, I really love all these, obviously. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use, I'm going to try, because not all of them I have leftover leftovers. I am doing the 11 rows of each. And at the end, I'm going to do like Castleview Yarns and I, I know a couple other people did. I'm going to repeat the sequence, but with two rows each. So two mm -hmm. rows of the color, two rows of yak, two rows of the next color, two rows of yak. But it's not going to be all of them because I don't have enough because I'm using this for bunting as well. So I'm only going to do what I have, like whatever I have extra. Bunting. I'm gonna show you this one of my whips. Oh. <laughs> and so, yeah. Also, the stuff oh. marker she used is Zebra. Anna from Zebra Yarns. I mean, love the Zebra. That's I, what I'm using. I oh, and this is where, where I was. So this is where I was when I, got, I showed you guys in my last episode. <laughs> was I just cast it on, basically. Got through the first stripe, just cast it on. In the, and now, wonder. I've done all of this. So this is actually great. I've been, I will work on this when I go pick up Brooke from school. I take it with me in the car. And if I'm waiting, I'll just, you know, work because it's just stuck in it. It's very, it's, it's just as addictive as a muscle bra hat because it's just mm. constant round and round. And you get to change colors, which is really, that's what makes it kind of more addictive. I just learned how to change colors. Mom taught me the ways. I told her, I was like, it's ridiculously easy and you're not going to believe me. Well, she was telling me. And then I'm like, like, it's like, so easy. Oh, like, there's, some, there's like some nodding in there. Like, you know, you literally just grab the next color and start using it. Oh, and this I'm, is in my oh. Daisy Girl and Company. Christmas bag. Okay, I, got, I love this little peekaboo. It's got a great handle. The only thing is there's no pockets, which is fine, but then there's also no hook. So I lose my scissors. <laughs> That's the only thing. I love it. I love how big it is. I love how I can see through it. I love the handle. I love that it stands up and I love the fabric. I wonder if Zebra Yarns has ever met a zebra. Like, I want to see the pictures. I want to see- you can ask him. I want to see her excitement when she meets a zebra. Oh my God. And I want her to like bring all of her zebra stuff. Like I want her to be decked out and like like she's like a zebra fan girl, and she's like decked I don't even out. know if she loves zebras that much. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I just imagine her being like, yeah, zebras, pro zebras. <laughs> all right, which is amazing. I love that. Your next whip. Oh, um, ah, uh, I'm so excited about this. One. Okay, so, I just saw this like. All right, so this second. one's by Cowley Crochet. Uh, I found her on Instagram, and she everything she crochets is cow related. So I found this one, mm -hmm. and it's a cow. Now, I'm not done with it yet. That's why it's a whip. But it's a cow avocado. It's a cow avocado. <laughs> so right now, it looks like a penguin. But once I... I it looks like a cow. All I need to do is add the ears and, like, the mini horns, and then it'll look like a cow. Mm -hmm. But, like, this even, like, comes out. The seed comes out. Look at this, you guys. <gasps> I'm so excited about this. <laughs> she came in with that, and I was like... What is um, this? I was like, did you see my cow? What have you done? Uh, but then, again, it's in her pictures, it's smaller. Uh -huh. <laughs> she uses um different, smaller yarn. But I was like, um, I'm going to use chunky yarn. I want a big cow avocado. But actually, you'll see a lot of my dream knitting is a lot of her. Oh, my God. It's a lot of her, um, a lot of her stuff. Because she makes all these cute cow things. And I'm really in love. So cute. She made a purple one. I can maybe make you a purple one. Ooh, that's nice. But yeah, that's my that's my last whip, I actually believe. Okay, so this is in a Scrappy Angel Christmassy um, retreat bag because it's my other advent. Ready? And it's the bunting, Brooke, so you can find out what bunting ah, is. Ah, bunting, yes, bunting. 
So bunting is essentially triangles. Triangles. That you hang on like a- Oh, right. Yeah. I remember you talking about this. <laughs> I said that was called bunting. Should it be called triangular? Ing? <laughs> <laughs> When I think bunting, I think bunt cakes. I've never had That's one. That's a totally different spelling, even. Bunt cakes has a D in it. Why? I know. All right, so. We should fix that. This, I'm using the pattern, free pattern, Bunting Fit for a Queen by Vero Pepperell. And so it's got the holes in it where I'm going to, like, thread through the ribbon or whatever I'm going to hang it on. I This is my leftover of day one, and I faded in day two. I think if this is actually right side, it's whatever. Pretty. I know. I don't actually know which side. This side or this it's, side? It's one of the sides. One of the. I think it's this side actually. Um, I ran. So it says it would take. It needs between five and six grams, and so I had five grams of the dark color. So I think it's definitely closer to six, if not six grams, um, per triangle. So I faded in the second day two, and that's my first triangle. I was just doing it to kind of try it out and see what I needed. Um, and so I'm going to do that. So I'm going I'm to merge colors together. So now I have this much left of day two. And this is what I'm going to now move over to my other one so to do my like, thin stripes. This would be like leftover, then go, yes. then leftover, then go. Leftover to the bunting. And whatever's left over from bunting will be my thin stripes mm. in okay. my... Oh, that's cool. I like that. Yeah, you know. So I'm going to use every little bit of my zebra yarns for my projects. I'm so excited. Hello. So I have like, these are the ones I have left. Or I've already done stripe-wise. Oh. Wow, look how pretty. <laughs> so those are waiting to turn into little triangles for my bunting. Oh, and you don't need, like I didn't need 24 put back, put back, put back, put back. triangles for the bunting. Look at it. In the pattern, it says actually like 13 triangles is like a really good size. So I don't even need all of them. So um, like when I combine day one and day two, it doesn't matter. Because I have like 24 buntings. Oh. It's on a size two and a half needles, um, US two and a half. And I'm using actually my signature needle arts one that I'm using for my Arabian Tales blanket. Mm -hmm. So they're actually getting lots of use. So yeah, and it was really simple and easy. You, you cast on the top and you just decrease. It's really nice. Oh my gosh, Mom, you know what I just realized? Hmm. Now that I can actually crochet, I can finish that blanket. Thank you, because I have it over here somewhere. <laughs> All right, are you out of whips, Brooke? Yep. All right, so next I have my Zebra Yarns um, socks. So last time, I still have not cast on the second sock for this. So I still have this sock. Um, this is a String of Lights pattern by Sock Witchery because I've been obsessed with my Street of Cardigan. Um, last episode, I did just cast on this one because here's my first full one. It's already done. So I cast on this and I just cast it on when I showed you guys. So I've already gotten all the way through the heel and like halfway through the foot. You know what this looks like? I'm like over halfway down with the foot. What? Flamingo's dancing. Flamingo's dancing. Just like you always wanted to see, huh? I've always wanted to see Flamingo's dance. So yeah, so I have this whole almost done with this. And then once I finish this one, I will cast on the second one for this one. And then I'll be done. This is all in my Scrappy Angel bag. Mm -hmm. It's a um, inside outside oh. bag. It's got the clear pocket on both sides. Oh, that's, I always get these two. I literally like, have, and this one confused. yeah, I have both sock whips going on in here and I have tons it's so of room. Neatly, wow, it's so neatly placed in there. I know, because it's like perfectly, <laughs> it's I got so the minis in there. Placed. I got full socks in here. Tons of room in here. I love it. So this one is how, where I'm at so far. These are both by Zebra Yarns and these are both, so the minis and the full skeins came together in a sock set. Um, this one, String of Lights pattern, I just did a regular Fish Lips Kiss, whereas this one is just a vanilla pattern. I did do a Fish Lips Kiss, but I did it in garter stitch, so it gave it some texture since it's all vanilla-y and a little bit of cushion in the heel, which is nice. I love I know. So, yeah. Almost done with that one. All right, next is oh. your Arabian Tales by Svet... No, Svet I'm not gonna try. Svetlana <laughs> Gordon. Okay, so this was my Chelsea Lux um, Advent from 2019 and 2021. I'm using using my signature needle art size two and a half. Um, I'm using eight inch ones. Those are special ones you bought. Yes, that's why they're in their own little bag. So since last time, I think I've added like four, and I even marked oh, where yeah, I was. Oh yeah, this thing. So here is. I left off with, oh, there, that's why you can see it. It's marked with my little, this is my Whitney Marie um, really Anderson um, stitch progress keeper from Christmas. It's really good for a blanket. I know. So I had just did this one last time on row three. And so I have since added, 
I guess only two. I thought I added four. So I added two more. I added this one and this one. All right, Sally, grab the onion. Yeah, Brooke, you want to hold one so I can bring it over? Oh, you can't even fit on one. It's really big. So I've got row three going, and I've got this one done. And it's all sparkle base. And this one. And I'm weaving my ends as I go with the weave and seven method. I know you see a lot of strands hanging down. That'll be all from the top layer. Once I add one onto this layer, I weave in the layer below. But I am leaving all my strands out. They are woven in, but I will just clip them after I block it. So yeah, isn't it awesome? I love this. It's me a long, very long-term project. Um, the Arabian Tales pattern is essentially it's supposed. To, it's written as a shawl, and it's only supposed to be four wide. So one, two, three, four wide. And I really want to turn it into a blanket, which other people have done, have done it before me as well. And I just made mine three times as long. That's mm -hmm. basically what happened. And I have two advents and two full skein seeds for this, so it's gonna be awesome. I think I use about three grams per fox face. So we're calling them little fox faces. I love this. Boxes. I'm not going in any order. I'm just basically picking them based on the color below and the color next to it. And I pick out the whole row at once. And so I set aside the whole row, put it into this little bag, and then the rest of them are in my scrappy angel bag. And right, what my first thing is, I'm going to go ahead and use all of, all of the mini skeins once for the first round. And then after that, I'll just pick whatever. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I'm not going in any year order or anything. I really, I was going to make one of these last night. I was going to do one. It takes me about like between 35 and 45 minutes to mm. do one. Cause you do, it's all basically completely short rows. <laughs> so you do like this side in short rows, this side in short rows, and then you combine them together. It's paper pattern. So I'm going to give too much away, but it's really, so you have to kind of pay attention. You have to count because every short row is a different number. So yeah. it's just like, it, but it doesn't feel like it takes that long. It just does take that long. I don't yeah. know why, but yeah. What's really frustrating is when you get to the end and I know I'm not going to be on the right number and I'm like, oh, I have to go all the way back. Mm. It's so frustrating. But yeah, other than that, I love it. I'm going to love this blanket. It's going to be like one of my most favorite blankets. That's I can nice. just tell. One I can steal, right? Nope. Not this one. I steal one. It's sparkly. Blankets. All right. Are we done with um We are done with whips. Yay. Okay. Acquisitions. And Brooke, do you have... Oh, we want to show off our... um. Oh. oh I didn't grab my... I have one of those too. Okay, so one of our acquisitions, I, I, whoa, whoa, put your that. One of our acquisitions is Whiskers and Stitches because we love Holly to death. And I have now have a ring. <laughs> I have a ring, guys. I'm now a pro. So I'm Holly from Whiskers and Stitches sells these little um, stitch marker keepers. And it's an, you open the ring and it's also like on this cool little, you know, keychain type thing. But yeah, you can open it and you got all of your stitch markers on there. And I will show the set I got for you the cat set yeah cat so brooke has put all you put all of them on there yeah she, these are all brooks not all of them are whiskers and stitches but i have a seat guys guys show the ones you picked out okay because holly had this cool where you for a dollar you could do like a mystery stitch marker so we got like five of those and then brooke stole a couple already yeah so i stole this pretty flower mm -hmm. one mm -hmm. i stole this pineapple one <laughs> And I stole this butterfly one. And then mom, being amazing, <laughs> got me a cat set. Where's my cat set? She also has like sets of like three, five, ten, I don't oh, actually remember. Different like amounts of stitch markers. Um, They're like themed. Get, get, get back to me. Get, get back to me. Okay. There's that one. You have them all separate. Why do you do that? I know they're not all separate though. Oh, here we go. Found them. Okay. I don't know how that happened. Okay. It was a cat set. It's a cat, cat set. So we have. Set. We have a cat base. I love the cat base. We have, um, oh no, I lost it again. <laughs> okay, we have a paw. Mhm. Mm you have to like. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not good at this, guys. Okay. Which you would think that I would be good at this. All right, and this one says best friends because my cats and I are best friends. <laughs> and then, guys, I was gonna say this because I was talking about we were talking about. Yeah, people. Holly threw in these keepers for extras for us, which was very sweet. And Brooke never had one, so she was so excited. And also. I also have a zebra one, guys. Oh, yeah. Anna, by the way. Because she sent me a couple and I had Brooke stole one for me. So. <laughs> so I had picked out this one. I got Brooke the cat set and I got the little birdie one because I love the birds. And I know it's probably not a real chickadee, but I always think everything is it's like a little bird. She does, yeah. It, it's, it's a chickadee, so it's, it's similar. Cute. Probably like a little robin or something. 
And then these were the <laughs> other two leftovers from the, because we, we just bought five of the grab bags. And so she had six. I figure um, I have a ton of such markers, but we can throw them in for giveaways. So there's a little pretty pink one. I really like the tree one too. It's really pretty. Good job, Holly. Love you, Holly. Love you, Holly. And she's super, she's super quick on the shipping, you guys. And she is. very affordable. Like, that was not very expensive at all. And, and her packaging. Sales. Her packaging's really good, too. Yeah. So you don't have to worry about them getting, you know, all messed up. Because they never are. For sure. Okay, so I'm going to go back. I Now, it's not all from, like, recently. It's probably the last month since January. These are all acquisitions from January and February that I did not talk about last episode. Like, I don't have a real project for, I don't think. Um, first is Aunt Jenny Makes. So I've been following Aunt Jenny Makes for like a long, like a while, and I had yet to purchase anything. So she, and she was having a sale. I'm like, hey, it's a good time to try out her yarn. Um, so I picked a couple different ones. And, um, so I, I picked this one for a giveaway because, um, it's called Sweet Pea. <laughs> and I was like, oh my gosh, I have to get this for a giveaway. Brooke, do you want to show up close? It's got, it's wool and tinsel. So it's a little bit shiny. So instead of the nylon, it's got tinsel in it. Very pretty. Like a good, like, like, like a rosy pink mm -hmm. with some green. Sweet pea. Nice and soft. I also got this one, which is good. And it's called Tide Pool. It's a little more aqua in person. Or turquoise -y. And this is 7525 Superwash Merino Nylon. And then this one, I was really excited about the color. Um, it's called Lake Dreams. And I love the color. The only thing is when I pulled it out, I was obviously not paying attention to the fiber when I purchased it because it is really scratchy. You feel it, Brooke? I mean, you can, you can just see, you can just see the scratchy, I think. Like, see how stiff it is? Which is fine, but the thing is mom is actually sensitive to yes. scratchy, which is, that's why it's a problem. I love the color. It's 100% wool from small flocks and it's sport weight, which is really cool. And it's um, 430 yards, 113 grams. Really, really cool. Pretty. And it's really pretty. My husband liked it. So I was like, well, I can make a hat for him. Mm -hmm. But also, like, I would have so much left over. So <laughs> not socks. Dad like scratchy socks. No, it's 100 percent wool. So it would have to have nylon in it to make socks. So I'm thinking either I make it hat for Damon to have leftovers of some sort. Or maybe I'll do this as a gift to one of my friends that loves scratchy yarns. I'm like, I'm what? looking, I'm looking at you, Lorelai. Because <laughs> she loves the scratchy yarns. I just can't, I can't do it. And then I'm thinking too, it's so scratchy that I don't even know if my hands will be able to handle it. knitting it for dad. Because it's like super, I mean, I can, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. But I really love the color. Look how pretty, pretty that is. I just wasn't paying attention. It's like, it's my own fault for not paying attention to the fiber. But it's very pretty. Um, and then she threw in like a cute little mm -hmm. gift bag with like a cute little mini in it. And I love this. Oh, Aww. mini. Brooke, you want to show the mini? Mini. I think it's even got a name. What's the name on it? Um, Carnation. Carnation. Isn't that nice? Boy, boy, boy. Really pretty. Throw that into my minis. So yeah, this will definitely be an upcoming giveaway for Sweet Pea because, you know, Sweet Pea and Chickadee had to get that. This one, I'm thinking like socks or something cool. Mm -hmm. And this one, I do not know yet. Undecided. I love the color too much though. My husband's like, I like a hat from that. So I might, I might just TBD. suck it up. We'll see. TBD. Yep, TBD on that one. To be determined. Okay. Now, what else? What's next, Brooke? Desert Vista Dye Works. Oh, my Desert Vista Dye Works. Yeah. Okay. So I completed the full year of the Desert Vista Dye Walk. Dye Walks? Yes. Dye Works. Um, no. Sock along <laughs> last year. I think it was 7th Annual. I don't even remember now at this point. I think it was 7th Annual. So I did all of last year. I'm taking a break this year. Um, and so I got my prize winning. So if you can, if you participated last year and completed it and you have not received your prize yet, because if you complete a full year, you get a free skein of yarn that's specially dyed in a specialty color way only for the winners or not the winners, the completion mm -hmm. award, whatever. Um, so if you have not received yours yet and you do not want to be, if, and you do want to be surprised, look away. Look away. Look away. I haven't even opened it yet. You're gonna hear some crinkling. Crinkle. And if you don't want to hear me talk about it because it is really special, turn off the volume. Just put on when you stop talking about it, like right here. Yeah. At the okay, we can fast forward. All right. So, oh my gosh, you guys. Here it is. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is the first time she's ever done the award getting a sock blank. Like I don't think, and it's a double knit sock blank. 
A double knit sock pleats means you can pull two strands and do socks at the exact same time and they'll be 100% matching. I mean, roughly, right? Because normally when you pull from a sock blank, it's not gonna be matching at all, which I don't mind at all. But a double knit, you pull two pieces, two yarn from the same color sequence, so they're gonna be matching. And look at this color, oh my God. And I haven't even undone it, so I don't even know. I'm not even gonna ruin it for all you guys. If you guys wanna look, look. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. So I don't think she's ever done this before for the um, winners. I guess, I mean, I could be wrong, but I think it's the first time she's done a color um, or a sock blank. So excited about this. And you also get awards for posting on Instagram. Like depending on how many times you post on Instagram with the hashtag, your specialty hashtag, um, you accru accrue um, little goodies. So I had like posted like 30 something times. So I got awards for, or rewards for 30, you know, it's by tens. So I got, so excited, this cute little sticker, <gasps> the little logo, the sticker where I, I'm, I'm really sorry, I meant to do my nails, you guys, and I totally forgot, but I got a cool Desert Vista Dye Works pin. I can go on the back. Yes, and this cute little stitch marker. Brooke, you gotta hold this up for me. I got you, I got you. I totally know. Oh my gosh, it's the cutest. I love that one. It's the cute little gecko, her little logo. I'm assuming it's a gecko or a lizard oh, of some sort. Probably not. Yeah. There you go. Isn't it cute? You just hold it by the clasp. Oh, you know what, Mom? That's actually really smart. <laughs> you can see it. Why is it? Not I don't. There we go. It's a cute little. It's the same. It looks just like the sticker, except minus socks, probably. Yeah. Isn't it cute? Cute. I love that one. I use that for my socks now. And so yeah, this, this is my award. It's totally free. I didn't have to pay for shipping or anything. So if you do the whole year. It's amazing, it's so fun. Um, it's got tons of great colors and stripes and stuff like that. And also um, you accrue and earn percent off. So every three months, if you did it for all those three months, you'd get 30% off coupon to use by the next, like in the next couple months, so there's, like, there's like deadlines. And then at the six month mark, you get to pick out a free skin of yarn. So you just, she emails you and says, what do you want? And you say, oh, I would love this colorway. And she makes it for you and sends it to you. Mm -hmm. Like you don't pay for shipping. Then the next three months after that, you accrue another 30% off. And at the end of the year, you get a free specialty colorway, which is a sock blank. So excited. Okay. All right. I'm going to now put the time where people can like start looking now. Okay. What else do we have, Brooke? Um... Aunt Jenny makes. We just that one. Oh, Woolens, oh, Woolens and, Nosh. and Nosh. So I got those two so confused. I put in an order with my friend Angel, and um, I'm not going to show you hers. She can show you hers. But I ordered just a couple. Um, Woolens and Nosh, I did their, um, I saw her Indie Untangled, got a couple colorways, but like the one I got was Christmassy, and then I got her Advent skein, and I just wore her Advent skein colorway that I knit up the other day. They're so squishy and comfortable, those socks, because it's like a thicker yarn. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, oh my gosh, like I could feel the difference in them. And I'm like, oh man, the only other colorway I got was another Christmas colorway. I did get the colorway percolated, but I got that from my husband. I could steal from him. <laughs> he doesn't know. He wouldn't know. Yeah, no, he wouldn't. But I mean, it's perfect for him colorway. So I was like, oh, she had an update. And so I went ahead and got the pressed flowers. And I didn't even realize it was going to be a it's little really pretty. sock set. Yeah. I mean, it said sock set in the picture, but I mean, it looked like it. <laughs> it looks like it, but I didn't believe but it. But I mean, you know, sometimes <laughs> it'll have a picture with a mini, but it doesn't actually come with it. Yeah. The, pr the price wasn't any different. So it's pressed flowers. And this one is her 90% superwash Tarji and 10% nylon. It's very squishy. I think it's just a three or four color. I think it's just a three color repeat. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Pressed flowers. And then I went ahead and got a bare 50 gram skein because I saw that she, Michelle from Wollens and Nosh, she used her Advent leftover minis and held it together with a blank mm -hmm. and made mittens. So they like self striped, oh, but it was like marled. That's cool. Yeah, it was like these little, like it was like the Royal Daisy's mittens. I forget who makes that. I think it's what she did. But I wanna do that too. I wanna use my leftovers. And so I'm like, oh, I might as well just get, since I was already ordering, she had a little 50 gram skein. So I went ahead and just grabbed one of those. Mm -hmm. Very affordable. So yeah, those are my newest. And zebra yarns. Zebra yarns. I got this a little bit ago. Did I only grab one? No, there it is. I had to go down the basement. I, yeah, like, I'm moving yarn rooms. <laughs> so everything's kind of like in two different locations. I was talking about my necklace. Oh. I thought I was going to be going longer. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about your necklace. What did oh, yeah. I get that for you? For your Christmas. birthday or for Christmas? Christmas. For Christmas. Christmas. And it says my name on it. I got the... 
<laughs> it says Brooke with an E. With an E. <laughs> All right, so I ordered from Zebra Yarns for her Valentine's Day colorway. Put it there. This one, is, it says Put it two there. stripe, and it's like a darker red and then a light red. You need to hold it up to the light. There you go. It's like a great gold color. This one is called Golden, Golden Heart. Heart. 7525. And she's got nice plushy yarn too. I love her yarn, obviously. And her like two color stripes are amazing. And then I got this one, which is called what? Votes for Women. Votes for Women. Love. Right? Love. So it's a kind of goldy yellow and white stripe with a great purple mini. Mm -hmm. I love this together. I love how she pairs her minis with it. Like the colorways I would never have thought. And they look amazing. I really, I'm obsessed with this colorway. I like this I one. I know. And I think, it, I took the last one at the time, but I think she's restocked um, on the website, Votes for Women. And I love this one. I love they're just like the subtle, the subtle two color stripes. Mm -hmm. Love that. Can't wait to knit those up. All right, next one is Mace of Skeins. Macy. I love her. Oh my gosh, guys. She <laughs> likes my Instagram posts. <laughs> she does. She likes Brooks Instagram And she posts. even, I had to do a voting <laughs> thing for journalism and I asked a question and she even answered <laughs> Even though she, it wasn't, like, it doesn't even relate to her at all. I usually answer too, but, like, as a mom, and I'm like, because Brooke yeah. will ask questions for school or for her article she has to write for journalism, but they're directed to other students, and I always answer. Yeah, so this one, it was just, it was just And asking, Macy answered too. It was just asking, like, do you think kids should stay home due to COVID? Virtual or whatever. And then she just answered it, and I'm like, what? I mean, it was nice. I needed, I needed people to vote. There so you go. Like, Good Thanks. job, Macy. So Macy's having a sale. She has great sales all the time. She was having a buy one, get one half off. And I oh had a sweaters quantity of like her pine, her that green, might have been winter pine or something like that. It was like this great green color in my cart with these. And then it, before I could purchase, it sold Ooh, out. I was going to make, I did, I got cart jacks. Cart jacks. I got cart I mean, so someone's going to love those greens, but. Someone. I, hope those I even had a good home. I even had a pattern. I forgot even what the pattern was. But I had a pattern picked out because you know I'm buying with purpose. I had a, pat a sweater of green. It was gonna be because so, you know green with red hair. It was so pretty, perfect green, you guys. If you see her green, but it was sold out. So then I was like, okay, I'll still buy the other ones I was gonna get, which was the eggnog colorway, and I got on her spade fingering seventy five twenty five, and it's a perfect like cream color with brown speckles, just like eggnog. So it's definitely cream with brown speckles. And then I got the buy one half, you know, get one half off, which is a great deal. And then it came in the mail and I'm like, why didn't I buy more than two? I only got two. It's because I only put two in the cart because I knew I was buying a whole bunch of greens. I had like four or five greens in the cart. Mm -hmm. I'm like, be responsible. You don't need to buy <laughs> so much yarn. And then with the greens left, I'm like, oh, I'll still buy this. But I should have added more eggnog mm -hmm. because I, this is a great base color for a sweater. Like for color work even. Or, I mean, it's a good neutral to have as, like, a sweater. Oh, my gosh. I should have ordered more. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. I'll figure. I'll still. She'll figure two is still great to use for something. But I'm, like, kicking myself when I got it. I was like, this is a great. Why didn't I buy more of these? And it was a great sale. Macy does great colorways. I agree. I love Macy. Yes. So, thanks, Macy. Um, And I think. Is that it? I think yeah. that's it. That's it. We are done with acquisitions. Thank goodness. Dream knitting. Dream knitting. Slash so, crocheting. Cro crocheting. Crocheting. I'm going to put pictures crocheting. in here. I just saw the Bunchberry sweater by Valerie Rachel. And I saw it because I got a Knit Picks email. So I used to buy it through Knit Picks. And it's using their new cotton line. Um, but it's got a great like V in the front. And it also goes up the sleeve and then comes around the back. Oh. But it's like like a texture V. Not like a V neck. But like a textured oh. V. Like a cotton. design. It looks really cute, like really kind of simplistic, but like super cute. I like. Mm -hmm. I don't like anything too intricate. I mean, I actually do. I love intricate too. What also, does intricate mean? like a lot of details. Oh yeah. You like? like I know. I don't even know why. I, said, I like. <laughs> I like simplistic things, but also intricate things. I like. All you, the things. you like both worlds. I like all the things. That's what happens. Is, um. So Brooke, what you want to talk about? One of yours. Um, I actually have a I lot have of dream knitting, so you should, t I have a lot. Oh, okay. So my next one, I really want to make the Adventurous Scarf by Tony Lipsy, which is TL Yarn, TL Yarn Crafts. Anyways, Tony Lipsy. But this is Tunisian crochet, which I have to learn Tunisian crochet. I thought you did learn it. No, but it looks, I got to buy the, I don't even have the hooks yet. There's special hooks. Oh. Um, it looks very similar to how Graham Rippey taught me how to, with that special hook, that special wooden hook I have uh -huh. for washcloths. It looks very similar, and I never knew what that was called. It's, I think it's Tunisian crochet, honestly. Hmm. Cause I was watching someone do it, and I'm like, that looks very similar to how I make my washcloths normally with that hook that my grandma, my grandpa even made the hook himself. Like, it's really long. 
I'll just show it to you next time. Really long hook, double sided, and he made it like himself. Papa? Grandpa Rippy. Oh, oh, Rippy. Yeah, Rippy. So, Grand that's my dad's parents. So, yeah, I it looks really similar to Tunisian crochet. So, I'm, I really liked the um, adventurous scarf, and I can do that with scraps, or I can just hold off for like a mini, like a advent it along or whatever for next Christmas oh, but I probably don't want to wait that long but I say that now but if I don't have it done by next advent then I'll, I'll be one of my advent knitting for mm -hmm. sure but I don't even have Tunisian crochet hooks I need to get that first and I can learn on it but yeah I just love how that one looks and normally I'm like yeah I like Tunisian crochet but then I saw that one I'm like that one's really cute it's like a scarf that just keeps going really long it's really cute anyways also the Taka cardigan I think it's Taka Taka cardigan by sorry norland i'm a huge sorry norland fan she just came out with this great cardigan oh my gosh i love it so much it's very simple yet it's got this really cool detail that comes down the shoulder and wraps around to where it's here and it almost looks like a cable but it looks like maybe or just slip stitches mm -hmm. it's like a raised slip i don't even know i can't it looks so cool and it's like with chunky yarn so you know it'd be quick I oh i love, love chunky yarn sorry norlin and it's like a nice comfy cozy cardigan oh mm -hmm. i really want i've seen that a one. lot of chunky cardigans yeah and they're so cute but of course i don't have yarn for that so i'd have to buy hey i know i know chunky, <laughs> I know chunky yarn. all right brooke your turn all right i have a lot but for the first one oh we'll insert the picture but this one's the checkerboard vest by Hey Hey Crochet. And I actually already have mm -hmm. the yarn for it. She's already ready to go. You keep bumping the camera, yeah, baby. Yeah, that's my bad. Okay. So, yeah, sorry, let me guys. show you. Let me show you. So this is for one of them because I'm making two. So that looks great on camera. It actually is more of a taupe, don't you think? Yeah. Or that one. That one's more of a like an oatmeal. Mm -hmm. And this is gray. Hold on, let me see what, what's it called. Medium gray. So this is medium gray, and that one is called soft, soft gray. gray. Even though I would say this looks almost more oatmeal. Yeah. But this is for one of them. And then the other one I'm gonna do. Cause she really went. I'm like, you can make more vests. Is that okay? So this one I'm gonna do. She let her favorite color is. Her favorite color is yellow. <laughs> And so I'm going to make the whole entire thing in yellow instead of doing the checkerboard thing. And then I'm going to make the, um, is it called, what is it, the ribbing? The, 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 the... Yeah, like the, the hem and the edging. Yeah, out of white. Mm -hmm. So it's really just going to be like kind of like that. I mean, mostly yellow with a little bit of white, like white yes. trim. And that one's going to be really So we really couldn't nice. find another color to look good with the yellow. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, well, you don't have to make it all the checkerboard. You can use yeah. the same shape and just make it all in yellow. And the brand for all that is Joanne's yarn, um, mm -hmm. Big Twist. Really and crazy also, Joanne's I forgot one. to tell you guys, with my BTS cardigan, the this or that cardigan, um, the ribbing I'm making out of black. Oh, the purple BTS cardigan, her this and that. Is black ribbing. The edging and the button band will be black. Yes. Okay. And then, all right, guys, get ready for a... <laughs> Get ready for some looking. Okay, so um, my friend asked me, because I made him a octopus, mm -hmm. and he asked, because his mom saw the octopus, and he has a little brother, and so the mom was like, can she make him something? Hmm. And I was like, I mean, yeah, I, I, I love his little brother. His little brother's adorable. I FaceTimed him, because he took his phone and FaceTimed me, because you know, I'm just amazing, like I can say. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But... So, so originally they wanted me to make an octopus for him and I haven't done it yet. But then he texts me, he's like, actually, can you make a baby Yoda? And I was like, okay, that's a little trickier than the mm. octopus thing I was doing. Um, but then I found this really simple pattern. It's a crochet Yoda B by Beanie's Crochet. And this is what it looks like. It's cute. So it's really cute. And I just need to get the yarn for it, but it's chunky yarn. You guys know how me and chunky yarn are like besties. <laughs> Okay, and this one, that's that. Okay, so this one's also by, so the cow avocado is by cowley.crochet. That's her Instagram. She makes all these cow things. So she made these baby yogurt cows. Can we just appreciate these baby yogurt cows? They look so cute. They're so cute. <laughs> I'm in love. But those are super cute. Okay, and this one's called, this one's by Vibes Crochet Co. And I don't know if you guys know what these are. They're, um, what are they called? You bought me like a few. The huge, like, um, you bought me, like, a sloth one. Anyways. Um, <laughs> they're, they, they look like these, and they're all, like, cows, and they're super cute. Squishmallows. Oh, Squishmallows. So they're, like, Squishmallows. <laughs> and it's all, like, so she has, like, a strawberry one down there with, like, the ears are strawberries. Those super are cute. cute. 
Okay, and then this one's by Scarlet's Stitchery. And oh, the tails are a little Yeah, well we have the tail oh, they have little the tails. Thing. Yeah. Okay, show everybody. Alright, so they're um they're bears and they have like little critters. Little critters on top of them. Next to so their tails. Cute. I'm in love. If you hear bells, those are our cats. Yes. Okay. This is the one I've literally been mm. obsessed with for the longest time, but I haven't been doing it. Like yet. a whole three days or something. You've literally been like crocheting for like three weeks. <laughs> Forever, I've been obsessed. Forever, <laughs> I saw this and I was like, "Ugh, oh, gotta do it." Okay, this is this is Kay's plushies. She made these. Okay, there's a lot of cows in this. You like cows? But these things are so cute. That's why when you listed off all your favorite animals today, there's like seven, and none of them were cows. I'm like, no, there were cows. <laughs> and then, all you talk about is crocheting cows, but they're not like your favorite animals. Okay, this one's actually a free pattern, and it just came out yesterday. Mm -hmm. And I tried it. I. I don't know what I did. I did something wrong, probably, which is probably what happened. But I'm gonna you use a different. Okay. I'm gonna use a different yarn than she did. But this is called. They're called cuddly fish, and this one's by crochet. Crocheted by L. Crocheted by L. Yeah. And they are so adorable. Mm -hmm. And I'm just gonna make it out of my thicker yarn than I usually. That I usually, you know, <laughs> you guys count me. So it'll be a giant. Mm-hmm. Okay, and there's two more guys. Two <laughs> more. <laughs> All right, this one's by Crocheted Buckets. Okay, can we just appreciate this little chicken? This chicken and a strawberry. Oh, cute. Oh my gosh. Okay, and this one's by, okay, Rin Meow 21 on Etsy. She has so many cute patterns. She has cow patterns. She has other patterns. <laughs> Non-cow patterns. <laughs> and this one's a hippo with an Aww. ice cream cone. That's cute. That's all. See, all I do when I look at that, all I see is all the different pieces I'd have to do. No, you That's all I see that. are all the pieces. The Even part. though cardigans have like tons of pieces. You literally... I know. I keep kicking it. And like, I don't know why, but I don't know. It's actually, I love making the pieces because when once you're done, you see all these pieces and you're like, oh, I'm here, guys. I'm here. And that's what happened. <laughs> that's what happened. All right, podcasts. So Brooks been watching some podcasts. Mine, I've been watching. Oh, I'm, I'm gonna give a shout out to Novel Knits. I know I've mentioned her before, Danelle, but I won her giveaway, Aww. and I was like, oh my gosh, like it was so cute. And first of all, I really wanted it too, so it worked out. For I was me. like, I need it. But it was even more like I swear she sent me more things that were actually in the giveaway, or I wasn't paying attention to all the things that were in it. I guess. Um, and a sweet card because Danelle is so sweet. Uh, go check out Novel Knits. She does a great, besides her awesome knitting and her great podcast, she also does a great book talk at the end. Mm -hmm. um, and I really like her book talk because, number one, we have a similar interest in books. Like, our mm -hmm. genres are similar. But also, I appreciate that her reviews are quick and to the point. Yeah. She doesn't tell me the whole book story. She like I do with mom. Yeah. She, <laughs> it's very quick and, like, down to it makes me want to, like, oh, that sounds, like, interesting. But, like, doesn't overdo it. She doesn't talk for, like, five minutes on one book. I don't like when they get too long. So, I'm like, hey. Okay. I, I don't like when it's too long. I literally sit down in front of you and talk to I my know. <laughs> So anyways, in the, in the, she, and first of all, it was really, she quick, sent this to me really quickly. So it was Woolberry Fiber Co. sock set, which I've always wanted to try a Woolberry Fiber Co. It's so pretty. And she included this cute little, it's a, it's a separate, um, show the different colors on the part on the bottom. Yes. Yeah, so look at the, yeah, look at this. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. It's the cutest socks. I'm so really excited cute. about this sock set. And this one's called It's Magical on her simple sock base, um, Woolberry Magical. Fiber Co. It's definitely her older labels. And I love it. this little stitch marker she had on the, she included. Yes. I totally matched it. I'm totally going to use this together. And then she also included this Woolen and Co. handcrafted wool wash. That's and what it smelling smells. Just now. Yarn Cafe Latte is what it, it smells really good. And it's really pretty. Oh, it My really friend good. Angel was looking and she opened it. She's like, wow, it's really pretty. Look, it's got coffee beans on it. Oh. Look. Or at least looks like coffee beans. I, I think it's. I want to smell again. And it's wool wash, which smells like coffee. Mm. Smells really good. It smells good. Um, and then also I got, well, she sent me a cute little goodie bag. And, and then an actual, actual bag. bag. <laughs> an actual little little project bag. So this is a J. Hendry Design Co. Um, bag. And it's a little square bottom. And so it's not a cake, like a yarn cake holder, because it's bigger than that. But it's almost like you can work your socks out of it and just put it, just, you know, one skein in there. 
drop your socks project in there and like have it be sitting like on your mm -hmm. nightstand or on your counter, your coffee table or whatever. And then you can easily grab it and carry it, but it'll keep it all in there because it's bigger than a skein. I, mm -hmm. I don't have a cake, do I, to show? Um, um, I can make my hands shape like a cake. Let me pull out my Stria. Here's your cake. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, this is almost full because I just switched yarns. So let me put this in here. So here's how much room is left. So there's still, it's still like quite a bit of room there. You could put some stuff over here, scissors, and just like set your project on top. You know, cute. I'm so excited about it. I don't have one like this. And I really wanted to try. Mm -hmm. Well, I've never gotten to try Mulberry Fiber Co. I know, it's so crazy. It's pretty socks. So yeah. that's definitely gonna be socks. And yeah, go check out Danelle. She's awesome. I love her, um, her podcast. All right, Brooke, do you want to talk about one of your podcasts? All right, so the podcast that I've been watching is Silly Little Crochet Podcast, which is um, Anna Callahan. Anna, oh, it is Callahan. Callahan? Or Callian? Callian? Whatever. I, I mean, not whatever. Put it right here. But, like, yes. I, oh, okay. So, I like how she is just crocheting, and she, she's just talking about things. She's talking about, like, what books she's reading, what shows she's watching. It's, like, literally just, like, talking to a friend. So basically it's like a knit with me kind of mm -hmm. podcast or crochet with me. So she's like, and she's usually crochet, she's crocheting like a stuffed animal. Like she was crocheting a bear in her first one mm -hmm. that she was making for someone. Um, and I just love it. She's like, she's like in college and she's just young and like fun. And she, and all of her videos, she's like, oh, how, how much can I crochet in a day? Oh yeah. And she does that. And um, she even um, has like little things like oh crochet a cardigan with me crochet this mm -hmm. with me and she even made like a harry styles cardigan and i loved it and i was like oh of course love but and if you see this huh? <laughs> <laughs> um okay so the next two are you gonna talk about anymore that's the only one, that's the only one i've watched so the next two like a new one that i seen i think she has like three episodes is through the wardrobe knits um, she's actually a yarn dyer and I really like, she's also making this Tria and we, had, I had cast mine on her. I'd already ordered mine before I knew she was doing this Tria. She's doing it with one color stripe. So it's like color for main color. And then the same, her stripes are all the same color. It mm -hmm. looks really nice. And she's even cropping it. It looks really cool. So go check her out. Um, and also Filena, I've, I've mentioned Filena. She's Felicia. Uh, her podcast is called Filena with P-H-Y-L-E-N-A. Um, she's in DC. She's so she's local and she, I had watched her before and I mentioned her before, but she just started, um, like within the last, I would say three, four months, she started releasing a whole bunch more um, episodes. So go check her out. She's awesome. She knits so much and I love her color, you know, s schemes and her color sense is really cool. So go check finally out. And I think that's it. Those are my top three new ones or shout outs. We talk about new ones all the time, but, mm -hmm. and I'm still watching all my regulars pretty much. So yeah. Uh, what are you watching or reading? Okay. I want to just say, I just watched, I'm kind of looking at it, the new movie, Marry Me. It's with JLo and Owen Wilson. I, I was looking for, like I saw a preview for it a while ago. I was kind of looking for it and I didn't realize it's only on Peacock or maybe it's, that's just where I found it. Mm -hmm. Like a Peacock streaming. Cause we have like all the streams. I just happened to find it last night as I was looking through. I'm like, this was released. <laughs> and I watched, I watched it twice already. I watched it last night and then to, again today. You guys have to go watch it. JLo sings all of her song, uh, new songs I love in there. I love her. And it's such a good like romance, great feel good movie. You guys go, go check that out. I love that one. What have you been watching or reading? Um, so I've been reading, okay, I've been reading Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen because I have to do a project on it for history. Not for history. Whoa. <laughs> for English. Yeah. And um, I have to, you had to pick an author and I picked Jane Austen because I mm -hmm. love her. Mm -hmm. And you pick one book and you like kind of just like talk about the author and talk about her writing style. And I love Pride and Prejudice. Mm -hmm. It's so dark to see. In the, <laughs> in the 2005 film with Kira uh, Knightley, Knightley and Matthew McFadden. <laughs> <laughs> I just know Mr. Darcy. I just don't know. <laughs> I don't know his name. I know Kira Knightley and because I love her mm -hmm. acting. She's awesome. Um. Also, I've been reading The Invisible Life of Addie Laurie. Um, Addie LaRue? Addie LaRue. I don't know. I'm only reading it. It looks like LaRue, not Laurie. Yeah, well, when I first saw it, it was whatever. Um, I don't know. Really good. It's by... Um, <laughs> um, this person. This person. <laughs> uh, 
and it's super good it's like about this person she's like please let no one remember i don't want to be married to this one guy please let people forget about me and this demon is like okay i got you so it's like young adult but it's back in, it's, this is back in like the 1700s i think with like demons and stuff yeah it was it's like a bad god really oh and so, so what would the genre be a uh, fantasy okay. fantasy romance and, she, and then no one ever remembers her after they leave. So, um, she, let's say she walks into a coffee shop, meets the person, leaves that person's eyesight. They completely forget they know her. Oh. But then this one guy, this one guy's like, hey, I know you. And she's like, what? You know me? And then everybody forgets they know. That's crazy, right? <laughs> okay. And the show I'm watching is All of Us Are Dead on mm-hmm. Netflix. I'm watching that with my friend. And so good. So addictive. And um, it's a K-drama. Um, it's on Netflix. Yeah, it's, it's on my list. List. It's yeah. so good. I definitely recommend watching it. Are you watching it dubbed? No, I don't. I don't do dubbed. So you're watching it with the subtitles. subtitles. So that means you can't like. I mean, you can do dubbed, and you can want, and you can then you can knit and crochet to it. But I like hearing their voices, mm-hmm. and I like hearing that they're like you know speaking in Korean, mm-hmm. and so I like that. And yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's awesome. So yeah, I think that's all. I mean, I don't know what else. I've been watching a lot of things. I don't think anything interesting. <laughs> Anyways, Brooke, um, you already told them how to where to follow you on your new crochet account if you guys want to follow. Although I post her stuff too, and I tell her, but she doesn't want to take pictures <laughs> to post it on our, you know, the cow avocado will be posted. Oh my gosh, she <laughs> walked in with it. I'm like, oh, why have I not seen this? It's like we're not. It's like we live in two different houses. You're like, you're like down the hallway. I never see I'm down the street. Stuff. What can I say? Oh my gosh. Cool. All right. Well, I think that's it for today. Yep. Um, and we'll be back in about two weeks, maybe even sooner, maybe later. Who knows? Honestly, just don't hold us to any words. <laughs> because literally, the, the, when I say we're gonna be back at a certain time, it, it we never happens. Guarantee that it will not happen. So we just like don't try to like talk about. We'll it. be back. We'll be back. We'll be back. We'll be back. We're back. All right. Well, we'll see you guys next time. All right. Bye. bye. Ready? I wish I was a strawberry. Why? I don't know. That's like, interesting though. Like you like to be a strawberry? Yeah. You just like, you know, you have like all your friends in like those same, but like, I mean, like, actually, but you're not there very long. People eat you. I know, but then people like, and you get to make, be created into all these things. Okay. People envy to be like you. No, I hate strawberries. Okay. You don't have to hate me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Anyways. So, and.